big hits are kind of why we watch, right? It's what attracts players to the game of football. But hard hits don't have to be dangerous. Former Bruin defensive back Bobby Jose has crafted a very nice career in Hollywood. But of late, he's turned his attention to an aspect of the game that he believes few coaches know enough about. Grab up, grab up, grab up, grab up. This game is not about destruction. This game is about building character, physical fitness, toughness, intestinal fortitude, all those things. Take for a ride, now. go for a ride, get the hair. I'm a father first and my son was 12 and he said, Daddy, I'm ready to play tackle football back in 1997. And I said, okay, I'm going to take you up and sign you up, and, but I'm going to help out because I don't want you to get hurt. And the president knew my name. He was a Bruin fan, which is cool. And I, I said, I'd like to help out. He says, you're the head coach. And now I went from one little kid that I was you know, scared to death for, and now I have 25. Bobby Hosea was a defensive back at UCLA in 1977 and 78. Following three years in the Canadian Football League, he returned to California, where he has enjoyed a successful career as an actor, appearing in more than 70 TV shows and movies. It was his role as a father, however, which led him to his most important assignment. I started doing the research. Then I started seeing all these injuries that result directly from people hitting with their head. And I just was on fire to go out and share what I knew for I had been doing since 97 with the rest of the world. The research that Bobby found showed that one in 100,000 high school football players suffers a serious spinal cord injury. Last year, more than 1.1 million kids played high school football. It was his belief that the majority of these injuries could be avoided if the proper tackling technique was taught at the lower levels of the sport. And the time to do so was now. 85% of all football-related brain injuries on every level of football competition happen in practice. These numbers need to be a wake-up call for us, not just to hear them, but to do something about it. All you got to do is look at the offensive line, for example. If you're a guard, you're going to read the front of the defensive front. You've got to step with a certain foot. You've got to engage the opponent in a certain part of his body. You've got to hit him with a certain part of your shoulder to get work up to the linebacker. That's very intricate detail, right? Where is tackling? Why doesn't tackling have that same sort of detailed approach? That's the part that everybody stays away from, but I've, I've focused on it primarily. Number one was to keep the kids safe. I didn't want to see a baby that couldn't get up. I want to have my eyes below the face mask of the ball carrier because the ball carrier acts first. And when I rip and shoot my arms, it's going to bring my hips forward, rock my head away, and I'm going to hit with my shoulders. We call it strike plate, shoulder tip to shoulder tip, just under your chin. So every time you go into a pile with your head down, you're really playing Russian roulette with your life, with your health, with your well-being. Every time. I learned to keep my head up and to rip and not wrap. Not to use my head in the tackle. Other kids should come to this camp because you can tackle correctly so you won't get a brain injury in football. When you think about it, kids are putting on pads and tackling as young as seven years old. Those are babies. What's at stake here is my son's life and the life of his family. Horrible stuff happens when safety goes out the window when it comes to tackling. Having organized uh, groups that can teach the proper way to tackle to minimize the, the use of the head, uh, that's a key thing. In the last 14 years, Bobby has instructed more than a thousand kids and coaches his proper tackling technique and opened an academy in 2006 where each year hundreds of young football players learn the safe way to play. Well, I've created a system of training, full speed game simulated tackle training that allows you to react to every move that a ball carrier makes and finish the play. See, this is the only thing that we don't finish is tackling. We don't tackle full speed, and you have to practice like you play. It is critical that kids are taught the proper way to play the game. If you're interested in learning more about Bobby's program, go to trainemupacademy.org.